Hello and welcome back. It's that time again. Oops, right, let's see if we can get our... Oh, come on. Click. Oh, right, it's already doing it. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, no done with you now. <laughs> The beacon is over here. We've surely missed the signal. Right. But he does have a lot of stuff on Let's it. light it quickly before it's too late. One moment, Alistair. We've just got to do our looting. Make sure we get everything. Ooh, tribal necklace. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that one before. And the elf food. Right, okay. So now let's light the beacon and hopefully Loghain will do as he's told and actually uh, charge in. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not... Do as I command. You. Let's move. Okay, so Loghain has um, betrayed the king, 
and now that has equaled his death. Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. I remember you, the girl from the wilds. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though twas a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. What happened to the Grey Wardens and the King? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Thank you for helping me, Morrigan. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. Were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. What about Alistair? Is he all right? He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. Very unkind. Those were his friends. And you think they would encourage his blubbering? If so, they are not the sort of Grey Wardens the legends note. I will go then. I will stay and make something to eat. So, the Grey Wardens are dead, and we are the last. Ooh, that can't get in there. Now, stop mind me, Morrigan, I'm just rifling through your mother's stuff. And we've leveled up, so. Usual point in dex, point in carrying, point point in cunning, and point in dex uh, in constitution. Ah, right. So now we can choose a new skill. I'm going to. Uh, for the moment, I don't think I need expert um, combat training. So I'm going to have stealing as a rogue. Uh, I think it's a handy skill to have. Okay. Now I can have combat movement, which I, means I can actually get out of the way and um, get gives me a better angle for backstabbing. But since I'm not really a backstabby type character, I'm actually thinking about going to aim. No, that's just, yeah, I'm going to have aim. I think makes it more likely that I'll be able to hit. Okay, so let's go. Let's get started. She, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. I thought you were dead, for sure. It takes more than a few Darkspawn to kill me. Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all... dead. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. 
I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Hmm. Now, of course, El El uh, Elvens worship Flemeth by a different name, but so I'm surprised that um, um, my character doesn't actually know what's going on, but, you know. Must I? Age and power are relative. It depends on who is asking. Compared to you, yes, on both counts. Then why didn't you save Duncan? He is... He was our leader. I am sorry for your Duncan, but your grief must come later, in the dark shadows before you take vengeance, as my mother once said. Duty must come now. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Of course not. But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Hmm. I hope I'm going to be able to get this all in one video. Okay? Me? I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and dark spawn. Well, whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the dark spawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Hmm. Would you I suppose. Yeah. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Surely there are other, 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 other allies we can call on? Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. <laughs> ready as we'll ever be. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm, I think that's an excellent idea. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Very well, we'll take her with you, yes. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother? This is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens, 
Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do.